Prior to 1906, when the Pure Food and Drug Act was passed, there were no regulations regarding the ethical use of human subjects in research. There were no consumer regulations, no Food and Drug Administration, no Common Rule, and no Institutional Review Board. A well-known chapter in the history of research with human subjects opened on December 9, 1946, when an American military tribunal opened criminal proceedings against 23 leading German physicians and administrators for their willing participation in war crimes and crimes against humanity. Among the charges were that German physicians conducted medical experiments on thousands of concentration camp prisoners without their consent. Most of the subjects of these experiments died or were permanently crippled as a result. As a direct result of the trial, the Nuremberg Code was established in 1948, stating that the voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential, making it clear that subjects should give consent and that the benefits of research must outweigh the risks. Although it did not carry the force of law, the Nuremberg Code was the first international document which advocated voluntary participation and informed consent. In the late 1950s, thalidomide was approved as a sedative in Europe. It was not approved in the United States by the FDA. The drug was prescribed to control sleep and nausea throughout pregnancy, but it was soon found that taking this drug during pregnancy caused severe deformities in the fetus. Many patients did not know they were taking a drug that was not approved for use by the FDA, nor did they give informed consent. Some 12,000 babies were born with severe deformities due to thalidomide. U.S. Senate hearings followed and in 1962 the so-called Kefauver Amendments to the Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act were passed into law to ensure drug efficacy and greater drug safety. For the first time, drug manufacturers were required to prove to FDA the effectiveness of their products before marketing them. An equally well-known chapter in history occurred during a research project conducted by the U.S. Public Health Service. 600 low-income African-American males, 400 of whom were infected with syphilis, were monitored for 40 years. Free medical examinations were given, however, subjects were not told about their disease. Even though a proven cure, penicillin, became available in the 1950s, the study continued until 1972 with participants being denied treatment. In some cases, when subjects were diagnosed as having syphilis by other physicians, researchers intervened to prevent treatment. Many subjects died of syphilis during the study. The study was stopped in 1973 by the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. In 1964, the World Medical Association established recommendations guiding medical doctors in biomedical research involving human subjects. The Declaration governs international research ethics and defines rules for research combined with clinical care and non-therapeutic research. The Declaration of Helsinki was revised in 1975, 1983, 1989 and 1996 and is the basis for good clinical practices used today. Issues addressed in the Declaration of Helsinki include Research with humans should be based on the results from laboratory and animal experimentation. Research protocols should be reviewed by an independent committee prior to initiation. Informed consent from research participants is necessary. Research should be conducted by medically or scientifically qualified individuals. And risks should not exceed benefits. Finally, the Belmont Report was published in 1979 with attempts to summarize the basic ethical principles identified by the Commission in the course of its deliberations. The report is a statement of the basic ethical principles and guidelines that should assist in resolving the ethical problems that surround the conduct of research with human subjects. The Belmont Report established three basic ethical principles, respect for persons, beneficence, and justice, which are the cornerstones for the regulations involving human subjects.